The mission state of, of Evernote is to focus on what matters most. What that means is really focusing on what's most important in your life, whether that means taking notes in the classroom, taking meeting notes at your workplace, or tracking your most important recipes, or gardening tips, or sharing family photos and videos with friends. There's so much chaos, right? You have so many notifications each day, and we found a way to hopefully calm that chaos and focus on what matters most. My name is Manav Karana. I am a business development manager here at Evernote, which is a productivity application, and we are in Redwood City, California. So our founder, Stepan Patrikov, uh, founded Evernote as a tool to hopefully remember everything. He unfortunately had Parkinson's disease. He wanted to remember everything from family photos to work projects, the things he's worked on. He found a way to basically take pictures of whiteboards or journal entries or notebooks and save everything into this application and make it all searchable. It's grown to become this overarching productivity application that people use for recipes, for gardening, for work meetings, for school, and has grown over the past 10 years to have over 200 million people. We have offices in South America, in Asia, in North America, and we have a, a totally global customer base. I, I would say we're a little spoiled here with all the perks we have. From unlimited vacation days to our lunches, to our coffee breaks, our beer time. But as a company invests in us, they really depend a lot from us. Evernote allows you to take any time you need off, and that includes volunteering events. We had a big team bonding event where we actually went to a local school, helped set up classrooms for the school year, and you can take off the entire day or take off the week to really kind of give back and, and volunteer where needed. And I think that's one of the biggest perks that we have here as well. So as a partnerships manager, I'm in charge of finding new partners that Evernote can work with and finding new integrations uh, where Evernote can work with other technology companies. Um, especially in this day and age where you have so many new, new options out there, new competitors out there to choose from. We're always thinking about ways to improve ourselves and work on, on really growing the product and hopefully reaching more people. Our target demographic are knowledge workers, and what that means are people who use Evernote in their personal lives, but then also take Evernote into the workplace. Going forward, we always think about, again, how our users or how our customers are actually interacting with Evernote. We use the tool internally, we dog food it, we're constantly finding bugs in our application, finding new ways to improve it. As a company, we're working in it on a daily basis. We give internal feedback. We have a huge community base, so we have about 10,000 or so people that are part of our Evernote community. And they have forums to discuss things they want or things they're looking for, ways to use Evernote, and they've really asked for dark mode. They've asked for templates, they've asked for spaces, and so we're constantly kind of getting a heartbeat of, of what our community is, is talking about and how they're using Evernote. Diversity is definitely a really big thing at Evernote. From hiring to then practicing during the workplace and celebrating, we have a ton of different people from different backgrounds, different skill sets, different locations, educations. It's not just about a great community and a great workplace. I think it also helps build out a really great product because you provide different ways to think about a product that provides for a really unique way to think about it and what to work on next. A huge issue that a lot of us face when we're graduating college is that we don't know what we want to do, right? We don't know where we want to go, what location, what company. The number one piece of advice for students, you should really educate yourself on, on exactly what you want to do. And so really just educating yourself on the available positions, available companies, and available industries is, is number one. Number two, I would say, is, is all about networking. Making use of your alumni database and really emailing everyone and talking to everyone you can to learn more and to get, educate yourself and expand your network, I think, is really key. The, the culture we've established here is definitely different from other companies, other places, so I think finding that fit is really important for everyone, and fortunately I found that.